guys. Um, it's been a while, but I literally had to stop mid intro because Liela woke up from her nap. So she's probably gonna be in this video pretty soon. Anyways, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about why I started bodybuilding, the background on like what drove me to kind of go that route um, and start competing like with the NPC. I've always kind of been into fitness. In high school, I ran track and cross country and I loved it, that was my life. I played soccer and I did band as well. I was a busy student and I loved it. That was what I loved. I was so into it, completely into it. I wasn't that girl that was going out to parties or drinking, I, I wasn't that girl. I was always really into my sports. I was always excited about a track meet, cross country meet. I was like, I would make sure like I ate like a bunch of carbs the day before my meet and I would make sure that I ate like a really good meal in the morning and make sure that I had good snacks throughout the day while like we drove on the bus and I was really, really into it. So after I graduated, I started lifting more and I didn't really know what I was doing because in high school like they give you they give you weight workouts but it's not like actual you know it's not nothing it's nothing compared to like bodybuilding or even like it's more just just to like keep strength it's more to keep your strength build your strength and for like stamina so once I got out of high school and I started lifting, I didn't really know what, what to do and I basically, a bunch, of, a bunch of different people would just give me tips, like friends and people I would see, they'd be like, hey, like you should try this or whatever and I started trying different things and this was while I was in college in Kingsville. I would go to the rec center, they have like a little gym there and I would go there, well big gym, but you know. Well, so I would go there and I would lift and you know, everybody would just kind of give me tips and stuff and I would just kind of watch what other people would do. Like, I'd be like, okay, like, you know, I never trained glutes. I knew how to squat. I knew how to like power clean and I knew how to do like front squats. I knew how to do like, obviously like a little bit of bicep curls or whatever. And I knew how to use the leg machines, like, you know, just like quad extension and stuff because we did those in high school. But I would, everything else, like I would just kind of watch people and I'd be like, ooh, like I wonder what that does or whatever. And I would basically just try it myself. And I always felt dumb because I could never feel like the actual contraction or anything. I just was like, okay, like maybe I need to go heavier. I don't know. And it was basically an experiment. And like I just kept trying different things and abs and running. I still kept running. I would like, they have like this little like indoor um, um, track or like like it's like a it's a tr it's an indoor track but it's smaller than an actual outdoor track so I would just kind of run up there and I would they have like a little ab station on the side of that and I would just kind of do abs and I, I know how to do abs a lot because we used to do abs a lot for track and cross country so um, yeah so I would just kind of experiment with everything well then um, once I moved out of the dorms and I got my own apartment, I got a gym membership at a few different gyms. I think I started out at um, this popular gym there, it's there in Kingsville called uh, Pure Platinum. It's there, they're not open anymore. I started off there and I just basically kept doing the same thing, but because you have a diversion in different ages and so many people live differently and you know, I basically got to see a little bit more more experienced people and stuff and I would watch them and I was just like dude I want to try that like I want to see how that feels and they had a lot more machines and everything else so I basically was just I kept trying and then I started looking up stuff like I would go on Pinterest and look up like you know glute workouts or I would look up like how to target your hamstrings and I would look up different things and I would I would basically do the workout that Pinterest put on there and I was doing that for a long time. And then I think after that, I uh, got a, a membership at, oh my God, my dogs are so loud. Okay, so after I think I canceled Pure Platinum and I got a membership or I think that's what happened or maybe Pure Platinum had already closed or something like that, I don't remember. Well anyways, I got a um, membership at Snap Fitness and 
snap finish is a very, well that one, it's a very tiny gym. They did not have a lot. I think they had like a couple treadmills and like a couple like ellipticals and then they had like very few benches, maybe like two or three benches and then they had like a um, assisted bicep curl machine and then they had like a bunch of different machines for like legs and biceps and triceps and whatnot. And then they did have like a lap pull down and they had like one set of like cables that you could use. So it was it wasn't much, but I you know I would make it work. Well, when I first got there, I was so intimidated because it was so such a small amount of equipment. The Snap Fitness was so small, and they they had such a small amount of equipment that I didn't know what to use. And so when I first got my membership there. I would just do cardio like just do cardio I would go on the treadmill and I would go on the elliptical and then I would go they had like a little room that you could like close the door and you could basically like do yoga in there or stretch or they had like jump ropes and like balls and exercise balls and all kinds of stuff so I'd go in there and I would just like look up stuff on the internet and I would do like lunges and I would like jump rope and I would do abs and that's pretty much it, but like I would always go and do cardio and then go into the room. And I was just so intimidated by everything and by everybody. I And that's weird because I went from pure platinum and like I was trying, I was actually trying stuff. Like I would look up on Pinterest and I would actually do workouts. And then I moved over to Snap Fitness and I got more intimidated because there was such small equipment. I was like, oh my God, like the machines aren't here that I was using and you know, whatever, whatever. So I was scared. So I, um, yeah, so I was doing that at Snap. And then finally I started coming out and I was like, you know what, like I need to, I need to do something else. Like I need to learn how to do things. So when there wasn't much people there, like I would go and I would start doing like a bicep workout on the cables by myself or a tricep workout. And then I started more moving more over to the dumbbells and I was always scared to use the dumbbells. I don't know why, but I was always scared to use the dumbbells. Cause I guess most people go and use dumbbells and you're just like, what do I do? Like, I don't know what to do with them. So many things you could do and like there's always people using dumbbells. So when you go and there's like a bunch of people using them, you're like kind of intimidated and like, well, what if I look stupid and I don't know what, what, I, what to do. They're gonna look at me like I'm done. There's too many people there. I don't want them looking at me, you know, whatever. Anyway, so I started moving over from the cables. I started going to the dumbbells and I started, you know, trying trying different things. And I would basically more do, I started going in early in the mornings when there wasn't a lot of people there. And I would, I would just experiment, try different things. And I started learning different things. Started doing more, um, more, I guess you could say like difficult things that I hadn't done before or difficult to me because you know I was just doing whatever so anyways I was basically doing that for a while and I wasn't you know I wasn't gaining like a good amount of muscle or anything I just felt like I was toning and I was still running so I felt like it was just kind of working out I wasn't doing it for muscle gain I was just doing it to kind of tone so that that way when I lost weight you know like everything wouldn't be all you know loose or whatever I just kind of wanted to tighten my body when I was in Kingsville I was in a long-term relationship and this was before my life now and I got out of that relationship and I came back to Alice to my hometown and when I came back I really wanted to just work on myself and be happier with myself and my body that was number one. I was like, I'm now that I'm back home, like I can focus on myself and I can focus on what I want for myself and my own happiness. And my, I wanted to lift. I wanted to learn how to work out and just do better. So I got, that's whenever my cousin Kayla, shout out my cousin Kayla, love you. So I, my cousin, I found out that my cousin Kayla was working out at, uh, or not working out, I found out that my cousin Kayla was working at the gym that I am currently at now, the Fit24 gym, she was working there. And my mom was actually working out there. So when I came back home, I moved back in with my mom and my mom was working out there. 
and my mom told me like oh i've been working out at this gym whatever and i'm like what's this gym like i've never heard about this gym and i was just so lost because i was in kingsville so then um i wanted to check it out and i was but i was so scared i did not want to go by myself i was like oh my god like i don't want to go by myself i'm not going to know what to do and i'm going to run into so many people and i'm just scared whatever so me and my cousin kayla just planned out like this day where she wasn't working i think and she was just like well let's just go work out together like you know you can come whatever and i was like okay so i did i went and me and my cousin kayla were working out together like every day for a while whenever i first moved back she introduced me to the owner his name is carlos and he actually does bodybuilding so he um after a while my sister-in-law uh my brother's wife did a bodybuilding composition competition and when she did that competition I was so excited for her. I wanted to go see and I've kind of always been interested in bodybuilding like okay So in high school, I had a friend um, who did bodybuilding and I was so interested in it I was like it was it was intriguing and I mean because I always wanted to know how to lift and like lift the correct way and stuff So it was intriguing to me and my brother my older brother Julian He was um, he would always follow up on bodybuilding like he would have the magazines and he would just kind of Look at him and I would like when I'd go to his house and go visit him like he would have them and he would just kind of like talk about it in front of me and stuff and I was so interested in it and like I would go look at it myself and I was just so intrigued by it. So um, when my sister-in-law did the competition I went and watched her and I was so inspired. I was like wow like all those girls put themselves through so much and so much dedication is put into it. I I want to be that like I want to be that driven and be that determined to do something like that that's what I want so after her competition when I came back home I went and I was sitting in the front office of the gym I had gotten dressed I went to the gym and I was sitting in the front office talking to people talking to friends and stuff and the owner was there he was in he was um, in the front desk he was basically talking to me and um, asking me how it went and how my sister-in-law did and stuff and we were there talking about the competition and then I said like I was like I want to do that like I honestly think I want to do that like I'm so I was so intrigued by it and I was so inspired like those women go through so much and it's not about winning the competitions aren't about winning and you can see that like it's not about winning of course it's amazing to win and you know hopefully one day get your pro card if you want to make a career out of it but other than that it's not about winning it's just about putting your body through that and putting your mind through that and seeing that you can do something that hard you can put yourself through something like that and you can be that dedicated if you just um if you just give yourself that discipline and that determination and you're that inspired you can do it and i saw that in those women all those women standing up there like i was like wow like all of them deserve a trophy all of them deserve, deserve a medal it, regardless of what their body looks like like they all worked their butt off so i was like i want to do that and he was just like i'll help you He's like, I'll help you get there. He's like, you want to do it? Let's do it. He's like, I'll help you do it. You can look at competitions. You can pick a competition and I'll help you. And I was just like, oh my God, like, are you serious? And I was so scared. And I was like, and he was just offering, like he, I think he had, um, now he has a lot of clientele, but I think at the time he didn't have much. He, I think he had trained like two or three people before that. And they, I guess they didn't stick to it or one person did, or they don't, they didn't stick to it. They backed out. So, you know, he really wanted to help somebody and being the owner of the gym and being the fact that he does NPC himself and he, he you know, had a lot of knowledge about it. I was like, okay, like, I want to do it. So I basically looked at competitions and I was like, wow, there was one eight weeks away. And I was like, okay, eight weeks is not enough time for me to start. Like, it's not. Like, my body's nowhere near close to where it needs to be. So I told him, I said, there's one that, I, it was in San Antonio. I said, there's one that's in San Antonio. I said, but I don't think I'm ready. Like, it's in eight weeks, but I would like to do that one because it's close. It's not too far. And he was like, no, let's do it. Like, let's do it. And I was just like, oh my God, are you serious? So I was like, okay. So we did an eight week diet. He gave me an eight week diet. I got on supplements, like a shredding pill. And it's, it, they sell them off the counter. You can get them at Rocks Discount Vitamins. 
and I was uh, I was taking a shredding pill, like a fat loss or whatever, and then I was taking a toner, and I was taking my BCAAs and drinking protein, and then I was eating, you know, very, very lean meat because I was only eight weeks out, so I started off on a very strict diet, and I wanted to do bikini, so you have to be small. So I started off strict. He's like, you want, it's eight weeks away, so we're gonna have to start strict. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Like, I'm, I'm down, like, let's do it. So we did and he was he was helping me like he wasn't training me but he was helping me in the gym he'd be like do this do this do that like he, he would uh, like he would see me doing something like I would do my own workouts and he would see me doing something and he'd be like hey try this out or hey don't be doing too much weight or hey like go do this or do that and don't do you know do high reps and you know it depends on the time that I was at with my competition but he was basically helping me like you know giving me tips and stuff so I was doing my own training and I just I just learned a lot like I just I I basically like just experiment from experimenting so much with different things like I just kept you know I would do my own workouts and I just would do my own stuff and yeah and I did my first competition and I signed up for open so there I go and I'm like super nervous I'm like oh my god like I'm not gonna get first place or anything I'm not gonna do like amazing or anything I don't expect to get first place I don't expect to do good um, but I just, I'm, I'm, you know, I was very proud of myself. I had never felt that happy with myself. I had never felt so confident and it wasn't like a cocky confident. It was just like a place that I had never been in my life. It, I was so happy and just happy within just not even just, you know, with my body. Yes. But I just felt happier. You know, you just feel happier if you're at the place that you want to be at the time in life. And so we went to San Antonio and my parents went and uh, my cousin Kayla, from day one she was there and she went and saw me my first competition and it was just my cousin Kayla, my parents and my best friend Tom. And they all went and saw me and I signed up for Open and Novice. Open is basically competing against all the girls that are your height. Um, beginner or expert level like not obviously not pro but just beginner or um if it's their fourth or fifth show for a show it doesn't matter you start you can sign up for open and basically go against everybody and novice is basically for the beginners or the people that haven't won first or second place yet so i did um open and novice i signed up for both and in open i got sixth place and it was like against like 20 something girls and then in novice I got second so when they called me out like you go you do your routine and you get in lines and then they the judges basically call the first call outs first call outs are the top girls the top five girls so you go and there's all your girls in your class are standing in lines and you know you're posing they're smiling at the judges hoping you get called and they called my name when they called like two girls names I think it was and then they called my name and I freaked out like I was just like I like I I was stunned for a little bit like I was like I was like oh oh my god like that's my, that was that, that's my number because they call you they call you by number not by name and I was freaking out so then I went and I was so nervous and like I messed up my when they're like turned to the back like I did my front pose and they're like turned to the back and I turned to the back and I like messed up my transition like I was just like I like I was like oh my god I don't know where to go and I was just I was just super like I was beginner style so I didn't know what I was doing much
but I was just so nervous and yeah um after that you know they at the end of the show they called me back up there and because you don't know what place you got you walk off stage and you're like okay well i got top five and then at the end you know they call you back up there and then they call the girls again and they give you your medals so they start out from fifth fourth third you know and then they go to first place and they they call fifth place so it's the girl fourth third and then there was top two and i was like oh my god like i got top two and then they called my name for second place and I was just so excited. I, I, I walked off stage with that medal around my neck and I was just, I was crying. Like, I called my coach and I was just crying and I was like, oh my God, I got a medal and all this stuff. And I called my sister and I was just like, I got second place and I was just so happy. I was so happy. And after that, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. Like, I want to do this. It just, it put a happiness inside me that I have never felt before and I had never had. And yeah, so I decided to stick to it. But yeah, guys, I mean, the moral of the story is that if you're not happy with where you're at in your life or where you're at with your body or anything, you know, you can do anything you set your mind to. Like if you really, really want it, all you have to do is try your best. And if you need someone's help or anything, like feel free to um, message me on Instagram or whatever. Like I am open to like giving you tips and stuff. And you know, obviously subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting workouts and stuff. Cause I know it can be intimidating when you go into the gym and you don't know what to do. I was there once, like I was that girl. Even though like I was, I was into fitness and everything in high school, like I was that girl once. And I, you know, I know what that feels like. So you guys just don't be intimidated. Like, don't be scared. Who cares what people think? I promise you that it doesn't matter what your body looks like in the gym. You can be the skinniest girl in the world and be there and not have any muscle at all or whatever. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter, you know, your skin color, your, your weight, your, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what you look like. If you're in the gym, like people should see like that person's here that's what matters like that person's here to change their body that person's here to to work for themselves and work at themselves that's what matters i cannot stand people that go to the gym and just talk about each other and like oh that girl like ew what is she doing or oh my god like that's ugly like or oh my god she's too muscular like oh my god what's he doing here like no that's that's not cool like really like you're not there to put people down and it's so messed up if you're talking about other people when they don't when you can t clearly tell that they're just starting out, like give them the credit that they're there and they're trying. And you know, they don't wanna go to the gym. They don't wanna go to the gym because of people like you. And you have to understand that. So just don't be that person. And if you really, really want something, just remember go out and get it guys. Like really don't be intimidated and don't be scared. And if you wanna push yourself, to the next level like do it don't don't hold back because of this or because of that or because of this you guys can do it like i'm a mom now and i'm going to school and i'm still trying like i'm still trying to get myself back back get my body like trying to maintain my body that way i can do another competition but yeah guys so just don't be intimidated go out go out and get it don't let anything hold you back and that's about it guys i mean yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys like a background story. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. Turn notifications on. And yeah, guys, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.